There have been some recent articles and vlogs talking about RV quality lately. And in this video, we're gonna talk about it. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. So RVTravel.com and many other vloggers have been talking about RV quality. And it's no secret that with supply chain and shipping shortages, RV manufacturers have an uphill battle ahead of them. But what we find curious is that many people are just now talking about quality issues. And we've noticed that many newer RVs have actually been lacking in quality for quite a while. To really understand kind of the why and how of quality when it comes to RVs, it's important to understand a few things about how RVs are made. Now, if you've ever seen a video clip about how automakers make cars and trucks, you understand it's an assembly line process. And many aspects of an assembly line process are automated. This means there's robotics and other machinery that's actually installing the same bolt in the same hole time after time after time. And even when you have a manual labor process on an assembly line, there's less margin for error because it's the same process over and over and over. <laughs> so RVs are manufactured pretty different than a car process. And many RVs are actually manufactured by the same parent company and they're manufactured in Elkhart. Interesting fact, by 2007, Thor Industries owned over half of the American RV industry, followed by Forest River and Rev Group. Now, think about the vastly different types of RVs, right? You have motorized, Class A, Class C, B vans, and then you have all of the towables, so fifth wheels and travel trailers and pop-ups and then all sorts of these like hybrids that are a cross between a pop-up and a travel trailer or just different types of configurations that are coming out. So there's dozens of floor plans and options to the thousands of different types of RVs. Ultimately what this means is that during the manufacturing process, which is done mostly manually, is that it's not as repetitive as the same bolt in the same hole over and over, unlike with an assembly line process with auto manufacturing. Not having this repetitive process makes for a larger possibility of human error. And this doesn't even account for the fact that many RV manufacturers just simply can't keep up with the demand right now. I don't know about you, but when I'm rushed and pushed to get a task done, it ends up being done with more of a good enough and that'll work kind of mentality versus like a standard of that was my best work or I did that to perfection. We've noticed the quality of RVs for a while now, since getting our start with RV living in the last four years. We've visited dealer lots and RV shows and we've walked through dozens and dozens of brand new RVs. And we've noticed that even with these brand new RVs, there's things like cabinet doors falling off or trim that's cracking and doors coming off of hinges and many more of these types of things. Obviously what we've observed are more of fit and finish type of items, which are relatively minor because when you walk through a new unit, that's all that you can really see or test out are just those things that you can see. We've talked to numerous other RVers who've purchased new and ended up with a long list of issues beyond fit and finish. Things like the fridge not even working or worse yet, water leaks on a brand new RV, which of course costs tens of thousands of dollars and maybe even hundreds of thousands in some cases. And then of course, to be placed on a months long wait list to even get their RVs repaired. Now, I don't know about you, but I couldn't even imagine buying a new car and immediately having issues that affect being able to use that car. 
in then being told, hey, by the way, we can get your car fixed, but we need about three to four months to get that done. So just leave your car here with us for, you know, the next three, four months, and we'll just let you know when we're done. Of course, that won't happen because in most states, as soon as your vehicle is out of service for more than 30 consecutive days, it's eligible to be purchased back through Lemon Laws. Now, Lemon Law, when it comes to RVs, is a bit more tricky, and there are so many different laws in different states with different exclusions, many of which are exclusions that apply coverage to only the chassis and exclude non-living areas. Maybe you've run into this issue and you'll have to let us know in the comments below what your experience has been with getting warranty work completed on your RV. And you don't have to dig too far online to start seeing comments in Facebook groups and other online forums where people are sharing the RV dream turned RV nightmare all due to poor quality issues. So what is one to do? Well, there's no easy answers, but in this video, we're just gonna share our personal opinion. And please remember that this is our personal opinion. You may agree, you may disagree, and you can let us know in the comments below either way. Now, we've chosen to buy used with both the RVs we've owned. There are several reasons why we went this route of buying used, but one benefit we've seen with used is that the previous owners have kind of had a chance to work out some of those kinks or quality issues that might have existed. Now, this is our personal opinion and just observation after talking with other RV owners that have been made with various RV manufacturers in different years. It seems like we're getting kind of the same story. So with the quality issues we're facing with new RVs right now, it might be a good idea if you are purchasing a new RV to still get a certified RV inspector to check it out before you take delivery. It could save you a major headache later on down the road. And of course, when buying used, it is a best practice to get an inspection before purchasing. Not that an inspection is gonna catch all potential concerns, but it will help to catch anything that's currently existing and present just so that you know what you're getting into before you get into it. Most of the time when you purchase a large cost item, you take it to a mechanic for it to have a once over and it's best to do the same when purchasing an RV, even if you are purchasing new right now. So let us know in the comments if you've ever hired an RV inspector and what your experience was and how it went. We always love reading your comments and hearing what others are experiencing out there. Don't forget, we have a big giveaway going on right now. It will end on October the 15th. We're giving away two Softstar RVs. You can learn more about why we love Softstar RV and enter the giveaway at gratefulglamper.com forward slash giveaway or check it out on the link below. Be sure to visit our website for more RV and travel tips and our new partners page, which has a ton of discounts that we've been able to partner with businesses for and secure for RVers. So check that out at the link below as well. And this doesn't... I'm getting hair in my mouth issues. Okay. What we've observed are more of a, it's a bug on my nose. When you say we, you and the mouse in your pocket. Okay. It's eligible. But we've chosen to buy used. Ah! That was a larger bug. Oh, it was just a ladybug. That's all it was. It was a ladybug. <laughs> We've chosen, uh, hmm. reset, goose from. Watch out for the vicious ladybug. I know, the ladybug. vicious ladybug, the vicious Florida ladybug. And there are several different reasons why we rent this rent. We're renting. Thank you so much for watching this video. We greatly appreciate it. If you learned something new, or if you just found it informative, please hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate that. If you would like to see more videos with fun places to travel on your next trip out, you can check those out right over here. And if you would like to learn more about just RV tips, tricks, hacks, maintenance, you can check those out right over here. Until next time, if we don't see you on the road or around the campground, we'll see you in the next video.